About a 90-minute drive north of Cairns, one man and his dog are cruising the Daintree for a glimpse of something special. Like any young kid, I love dinosaurs, and uh, now I get to see living dinosaurs every day. Oh, my God! Oh! 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 Oh. Oh. I'm David, and this is my life. Good day, Scarface. Come on, Dougie. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> so we're going to go for a little cruise up the river and see if we can find some wildlife. So if you see anything that I don't see, just yell out. There's no shame in getting excited about a log. Lots of logger dolls out here. <laughs> it's all about Doug. The whole thing's all about you, isn't it? Because I'm out here every day, you get to see some pretty awesome stuff, including the amazing saltwater crocodile. I do know them all by name. This is Scarface. <laughs> it's our dominant male crocodile. And he's just cruising along beside us. We call him the king, the king of the dane tree. And this is my favourite thing to do, is go cruising with the king. He's being very cooperative this morning. Uh, he's an old man. We think he's about 70 or 80 years old. If he wants to, he can swim with just his eyebrows sticking out. But at the moment, he's, he's not trying to sneak up on anything. He's just swimming around like, because he's the boss. Pretty solid boy. Oh, he didn't look that big in the water. <laughs> it's nature, it's not a zoo, and um, every cruise is different. So whatever we can find, we, we show people. Obviously, when you're out there all the time, you get good at it. and. Uh, know where things like to hang out. He just went fishing? Yeah. There's ten different types of kingfishers in Australia. The kookaburra is the biggest one, and the smallest one is the little kingfisher. He's a very shy bird, very secretive normally, but had a good fishing spot, so it gave us a great show <laughs> right in front of the, the crocodile. David's electric solar-assisted boats are so quiet and serene that visitors can get up close and personal with nature. And, to David's delight, occasionally catch some of the locals in their more private moments. I feel like I'm the paparazzi looking at the celebrities, you know. I've got a big camera and uh, I'm always following them around trying to get a, a shot and the more embarrassing the better, you know. Uh, <laughs> more controversial. Patrolling his territory and trying to uh, visit all his girlfriends. I put it on, on social media, on Facebook and Instagram and uh, a bit of YouTube. And um, people love uh, watching what's going on out in the river. We call it the days of the Dane Tree. we we'll just transfer the names of the Kardashians with our crocodiles and uh, it, it all makes sense. And it's just like, uh, like the, what happens in Hollywood. Through all the fun and, and social media um, joking and stuff, there's always that message behind it that we can coexist. To be able to live with these animals um, happily would, would, is my uh, aim to try and uh, get that because uh, crocs have this reputation. They are a big animal, they're a dangerous animal, and if you do the wrong thing, you can get eaten by one. So, But if you look at the statistics, uh, more people die each year from dogs. So, uh, if we can keep people safe, then the crocs will be safe because the bottom line is, unfortunately, if a crocodile bites someone, they always kill the crocodile. Pretty lucky to, to have these <laughs> Amazing animals living with us, you know, these living dinosaurs. This is where my heart is now, and uh, I just love it. Head to the website for bookings or check out the latest goss from Days of the Dane Tree on Solar Whispers Socials. Can't get enough, you know, I am literally out in the river. Every day, we, we close, the only day that boat's not running is Christmas Day, and I uh, usually bring my family out there and, and have Christmas lunch on the boat. Lots of crocodiles in this one.